Hi, this is Marto. In this video, I will show you the game between Magnus Carlsen and Oysten Dalevik. This game was played in Norwegian Championship in 2004. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4. Dalevik played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6. And Carlsen played bishop to b5. Rue Lopez or Spanish opening. Knight to f6, d3, d6, and Carlsen castle kingside. g6, it is white right move. Knight to c3 comes to mind. If I was asked to guess the move, that is what I would have played. Carlsen played d4, pushing the same pawn again. He takes on d4. How should white continue? Knight takes on d4 or there is a better move? What would you do? e5. The strongest move played by Carlsen. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on e5. Pressure is on the knight on c6. Bishop to d7 and pinning. It is white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you play? Carlsen played rook to e1. Simple and the best. Rooks should be placed on the open files. Would you play this too? Knight takes knight. Rook takes knight check. Bishop to e7. Black, dark square bishop belongs to g7, doesn't it? Bishop to g5. Surely black considered castling. Instead, knight to g8 was played. What happens after castling? Then rook takes on a7. Queen takes rook. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Bishop takes on f6 and this position. Why was white? So we have knight g8. Queen takes on d4. And black played f6, forking two pieces. What happens if bishop takes bishop? Let's have a look. If bishop takes on b5. Then rook takes bishop check. And after knight takes rook, Queen takes on h8. So we have f6. White to move. How should white continue? Carlsen played knight to c3. Do you have any suggestions for black now? Well, black can capture the piece. Either rook or bishop. Or bishop takes bishop on b5. That is the strongest move in the position. But let's have a look what happens if f takes on e5. Then queen takes on e5. And this is winning for white. Well, if pawn takes bishop on g5. Then rook to e3. Discover the attack on the rook. And now if bishop takes bishop, queen takes on a chain. Probably black should have captured the bishop on b5. And then we would have this continuation. Rook to d5, attacking the queen. Bishop to d7, rook to d1. Perhaps Black can continue like this. Bishop to c6. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook. What do you think of this position? Looks like that black would have a chance. Okay. In the game. Black played c5. Attacking the queen. Bishop takes bishop check. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes queen check. King takes queen. 
ruk to divan check. Material is equal, but have a look at the difference in the activity of the pieces. King to c7. Knight to d5 check. King to c6. Knight takes bishop check. Knight takes knight. Rook to e6 check. King to b5. Bishop takes on f6, attacking the rook. Rook from h to d8. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. It is white a move. White played a move and black resigned. What is the move? Rook takes knight, bishop takes knight, or something else? Something else. Rook to Ivan. Black resigned. Of course, if rook takes only seven, then rook to d1 is winning. Okay. So Carlsen played rook to e1 and black resigned. In view of this continuation, rook to d7 and pinning, then bishop takes knight. And white is a piece up. Interesting game, isn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.